All right, hello my lovely seedlings and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a garden update because things are different, things are growing, things are changing. There's new things, so I wanna show you everything. So I'll give you an overview. As you can see, I built, I put this arch in. This is this, that thing, I just got that at Lowe's for like 10 bucks, back where they sell the, um, the arbor stuff, like the supplies to make an arbor, I bought that there. They had like a bunch of them. And then I put those two boards in. Obviously, I dug like a hole about a foot deep each, and then I put them in. Um, so you can see all of my sunflowers are doing incredibly well. So all of these plants here along the whole line, you can see the, <clears throat> the mammoth Russian ones. The ones that are going to be super tall with one main sunflower, they're the tallest ones. And then all there's like a few different, there's a bunch of different types that I planted. Um, there's uh, Red Queen, there's Autumn Blend, there's just a bunch. There's Moon something. Here's the Chamomile. Chamomile has flowers on it. Um, as you can see, I've got another like section of Chamomile plants here. Uh, they were growing all over in the walkway, and I moved them, a few of them, most of them I dug out because there were just too many. These are the wildflowers. This right here is Calendula, um, and then I've got one single flower down here, which according to the people in my group is called a... Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it, there's a few of them. And these tiny little white flowers growing on in this wildflower mix. I don't know what they are, but... And then I got this thistle here. This thistle actually is really good for banishing spells, I've read. So I kept the thistle in my garden. Um, and then right there we've got... Oh, you can't see. Right there is a tomato plant. Over here, this is... Um, of course, you guys know I've done a video. I'm just showing you how how big they are. The mugwort and the pineapple sage, garden sage. Okay, from the mugwort here, it goes mugwort, pineapple sage, garden sage, thyme, oregano, marjoram. Wait, I'm sorry, marjoram. In the middle there is yarrow. And then we got a lavender plant. And then we got sage plants here and fennel. And look at this poppy plant, you guys. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, I guess poppy seeds spread by themselves because I didn't plant that there. Um, and then the back here, as you can see, has not been uh, mowed, but there's a bunch of um, buttercups and there's some fleabane up there. Uh, I don't mind the way it looks. I don't really care. My cats really like going up there. So the sunflower wall goes all the way around here and then it will go midpoint to the garden back here so over here we go through this arch so here's the arch we go through on the stones and right here we've got um calendula again uh, I, sp I spread a wildflower mix and i guess most of it was calendula because i've got a ton of calendula well thank goodness because I'll just be making salves and stuff. So we've got more poppy plants. We've got one here and there and there. Like I said, the poppy spreads on its own. And out here we've got, look at the cabbage plant you guys. This is from a scrap. This is from just the end of a cabbage. And I put it in some water till it grew roots and then I planted it. And look at it. Um, my strawberry plant, I put another lavender plant in. This, I don't know what it is. It's some type of flower, I know that. Um, and then I put a basil plant in back there, Ar an artemisia plant, and then back there is a salvia plant. This is my sedum. These little row of flowers here, this is poppy plants. And then you can see my lemon balm. So over here we've got the tomato, the cooper's ice, a flower plant, I don't know what it is. A chamomile. Uh, this is from an onion end as well. So it was like, it would have been normally just trash or scraps. Uh, I just replanted it and now I can come out here and get fresh green onion and scallion whenever I want. 
Uh, over here we've got the yarrow plant, King Edward yarrow. Okay, so the path goes here. So that's the path, and that's just a little overview of that section. All those bricks are from my endeavors in the woods lately. Found more bricks. Over here, I'll give you an overview of everything real quick before I show you what it is. So that is that. Look here. We've got flowers coming back on the foxglove. So the foxglove is starting to take to its spot and really enjoy being here. Uh, we got the artemisia plant down here. Um, these are green and red peppers and the jalapeno plant. These are all um, either um, flowers or yeah, these are all just flowers. Like, so there's a few, there's a bunch of, um, marigold and two poppy plants and a few others. And look at all these, you guys, all, these are all sweet William plants. Uh, look at all the variety of color though. Like there's a bunch of dark ones and then there's some painted looking ones. There's some light pink ones. There's some white ones. These are so pretty. I made the prettiest bouquet out of some flowers from my garden. Uh, I used the dahlias, the roses, and these. And man, it was so beautiful. But these have just blossomed and bloomed since the last time I showed you the garden. And then right here, I just planted a cucumber plant. I put him kind of here isolated so that he can kind of grow up this old stairway um, so he's not invading the whole garden. And then, oh, we got a spider web right here. Sorry, little guy. Gotta knock your spider web down. <sighs> little spider. Gotta knock his web down. Okay, so over here we've got the nasteriums. The phlox. The sassafrage, the pink star, the mint, and then you can see all the new hostas that I put in. So I put in this whole row of hostas. This one has already been here for a couple of years, which is why it looks fuller and more healthy. Um, but yeah, those uh, my friend had given me a chunk of like three hosta plants, and I split them up into a bunch of different ones. Right here we've got the shaded wildflower because... After the morning sun, because it's about 9.30 or 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, as you can see, the my, maple tree is hu a huge shade tree. So um, about midday, my garden is fully shaded. So I put that there. Um, over here, the mint. We have a little fern plant here that I just can't seem to make it grow. I just put some miracle Grow fertilizer on all of my plants so hopefully that helps them and then over here is my hydrangea it looks very sad yes but you can see it's got a bunch of new growth all right let's walk around the side of the house so I'm going to show you the dahlia plants and everything else so this overview of my garden um, right here, right now my, someone's digging up my yard to, okay, so this is the peony plant. Let's go this way, because I don't, let's go this way, Jixie. Come on. So, I try to put the sticks here so the neighbor's dogs don't try to come over here and take poops. So go back through this side of the house. <clears throat> and over here you will see the dahlia plant. This is dahlias. And the ones I planted a month ago or so are coming up right here. You can see two. I'm not going to get close because there's a big old wasp over there. But there's two. Dahlia's plants coming up, and then the one that's been there for a few years, there's none coming up on this side yet. 
So I hope those don't or weren't duds, you know. This is the rose bush, and look at the wisteria, you guys. This is the wisteria. It is looking so gorgeous. They're all blooming. They smell amazing. Um, yeah. So, oh, you guys, my. I just noticed my um, honeysuckle plant's coming back to life. <gasps> it's getting little flowers on it. Oh, I'm so excited. I thought it was dead. But nope, it survived because it's got a little shoot coming up. Most of it had died though, so I had to cut all, a lot of it off. Um, and then, as you can see, <laughs> the wildflowers under this tree right here are going crazy and being taken over that whole spot. Most of it is um, calendula. As you can see, my cat over there probably catching a lizard. He is obsessed with catching mini lizards. I really feel sorry for the lizards, but I can't, you know, stop him. This over here is the lithodora. So this plant right here is lithodora. Got one on each side. And then down here, this lavender plant is doing really well. It's got lavender on it already. Um, it's got new shoots all over the place, but this lavender plant, you guys, this lavender plant is not doing so well. I mean, it does got one single, one single branch on it that seems to be getting some shoots, some flower shoots, but I don't know how to help her. So, we go up here to my porch. So yeah, you guys, that is the... Jexy, get out of there. Oh, the wisteria smells so good. So that is the tour of my plants. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.